Hi students, welcome back in 5th standard EBS part 2. What is, today we are going to learn lesson number 1st, what is history. In this lesson, what we are going to learn students, history, the scientific method of history, history and us and the past and the future. First point is history. You know students what is history? A science that tells us about event in the past it is known as a history. Last year in standard 4 we studied the life of Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj and his mission of establishing Swaraj. The time before the birth of Shivaji Maharaj was about 400 years before now or in the other words the time 400 years ago. For our convenience we divide time in different ways often we use word like now, some time ago, after some time, today, yesterday, tomorrow or this year, next year etc. When we use this word, we are actually measuring the time in mind. Correct. Now, today and this year, these terms that indicate the present. Some time ago, yesterday, last year are terms that indicate the past. After some time, tomorrow, next year are words that indicate the future. The time that has already gone by the past. The time that has already gone by the past. The time that we are in now in the present. And the time that is yet to come. That is the future. Students, last year you are studying, studied in first standard. It is your past. Now we are studying in fifth standard. This is our present. And next year we are studying in sixth standard. That is your future. Understood? The past includes many events that have already taken place. For example, if you are 10 years old today, it means that event of your birth happened 10 years ago. Similarly, after 10 years from now, that is your future. You will be 20 years old. The time gone by between today and the day of your birth is, the, is your past. The past in the life of person, the science that tries to understand past event is called history. The scientific method of history in standard third and fourth as a part of environmental study, we have become acquainted with various science, the special characteristics of all these science, sciences in their facts or evidence. We can test the experiments which can be repeated anywhere, anytime. The method of using a number of different tests to determine whether the evidence is reliable is called the scientific method. There are many things that can happen since our birth that we may not know about. However, our grandparents or parents or other often tell us amusing stories of our childhood. Those stories are a part of their memory. However, when different people tell us about the same event, we find different in their narration. Narration makes us wonder which one is right. We need to examine the details of each narration carefully to decide the correct, correctness of fact. It is not possible to conduct experiment to recreate the event that have happened in the past. Therefore, the method of presenting history is different from that of other science. 
Even so, history uses the scientific method at every stage, namely while looking for the collecting evidence, examining the evidence and while putting it together. When required, help is also taken from science. That is why history is considered to be a scientific discipline. History is not written solely on this basis of imagination. Ancient objects, structures, sculptures, pots, coins, inscriptions, copper plates, books, manuscripts, traditional stories and songs remain over many generations etc. are the sources of history. The sources of history are divided into three parts. Material sources, written sources and oral sources. In order to find out what happened in the past and how it happened, evidence available from all these sources is collected and thoroughly examined to determine the reliability. With the help of the evidence that stand this test, past events are put in proper sequence and historical account is written. This is the scientific method of studying history. Thank you.